Hey, I'm Wade. And I'm Jonathan, and this is the health and fitness segment of Power Up. For today's health tidbit, I'm going to share with you guys my favorite quinoa salad recipe. You can find it at fresh365.com, and it's a great Mexican-style quinoa salad. All you'll need is two cups of water, one cup of uncooked quinoa, chopped tomatoes, uh, green peppers or red bell peppers, black beans, corn, cilantro and lime for seasoning, and salt and pepper. I love this recipe because it's a super simple thing to make. It doesn't require a lot of expensive ingredients, and you can just chop them all up and mix it together. It stores well, and it's a great, uh, it's a great addition to a potluck. And the superfood of the month this month is a sweet potato, found all over the ro this city in sushi rolls and in pubs served with like balsamic vinegar. Uh, sweet potatoes are fantastic. They're like um, they actually have the same carbs as lentils, so unlike potatoes, which can give you a lot of carbs that just kind of sit in your body and build up, uh, sweet potatoes actually help you stop eating because they let you know when you're full. Um, they also help you get your metabolism going. So whenever you can, try swapping out potatoes for some sweet potatoes or yams if you can find them. Welcome to the fitness section of Power Up. If you have a gym membership, I highly recommend you grab yourself a gym buddy. Recently I found myself a couple guys to have a competition with to see who could achieve the body they want the quickest. What we've been doing is exchanging photos and updates as to when we do cardio workouts, when we do weightlifting, or any sort of physical activity. It's been working out great and it's a lot of fun and keeps you motivated, so definitely try that out. If you're looking to meet some active people, I highly suggest you check out the VGVA, which is the Gay Vancouver Volleyball League, or Out for Kicks, which is the Gay Soccer League. It's a great way to meet new people who like to do physical activity and get involved into team sports as well. You don't necessarily have to have played the sport either, as there are a whole bunch of different levels that you can participate in, from beginner to intermediate, and find your comfort zone and have a great time. Another important thing for me personally is self-care or mental health. For me, I love to go on hikes like Grouse Mountain or The Chief or even a great run around the seawall because while incorporating a good workout, you're also getting to see all the different things that Vancouver has to offer. Also, if you just want to take some time out for yourself, just have, relax, kick back and watch some sweet movies or TV shows that you're into and you know, maybe put fitness on hold for a day or two because you always have to give yourself some breaks here and there. Thanks for watching the health and fitness section of Power Up. For more information, you can check out our website at empowermentyvr.com. Bye. Bye.